This presentation is on Baccia, which is the adaptive version of Bocce. This project is sponsored by the Boston Self Help Center to bring information on adaptive sports. I am part of the Northeastern DPT program and have created this video to provide information. The general rules of Boccia are listed below. The main objective of the game is to have your colored balls be the closest to the jack or the white ball. Um, and this game can be played individually or in teams up of to three. The white ball is thrown first to set the distance to where you're trying to get your colored balls to reach. Then each team will take turns throwing their balls to try and reach the jack. Each team will throw two balls at a time before switching to the other team. Um, and when throwing the balls, the goals can be to either knock the opponent's balls out of the area to block opponents from being able to reach the jack, as well as to hit own balls closer to the jack or just reach the jack. When a new round starts, the losing color throws the jack to reset and start the new game. There are several different ways that can throw, allowing a variety of different disabilities to be able to complete this game. If a person has control of their upper extremities, they can either throw the ball overhand, toss it underhand, or roll it along the ground. Um, if they have some motor control of their lower legs and limited control of their upper extremities, they are able to kick the ball. If they are quadriplegic or have no control of their upper or lower extremities, they can use a ramp with a spotter as pictured here. So with the ramp, a person will sit with their back to the match and place the ball. And there are two options um, as seen in the picture. There is headgear where you can hold the ball yourself once it's put in, adjust it and then release it. Or as you'll see in the video later, some players you will play with a stick in their mouth and use that to hold the ball, adjust it, and release it if they have more motion in their neck. The equipment needed for this game are each team or individual gets six colored balls. Usually the colors are red and blue. The white jack ball, which is used to start each match. A tape measure to determine if balls are closer than other balls, um, which can be important if it's too close to determined via the naked eye. Um, and this can be played on a court or outside. If you're playing competitively, it is played on a court inside and you'll see that in a moment. Um, if playing rec recreationally, this can also be considered a game to be played outside. And if needed, um, depending on the level of disability, a uh, ramp and the headgear or mouthpieces can be used by players. So as seen here, this is what the standard boccia court looks like. There are six thrown boxes that alternate by color. Um, two balls are thrown per box and you need to stay behind the dark line and within the lines when throwing your balls. The jack needs to land in the dark gray area also indicated by the plus sign. Um, and all balls need to be able to cross the triangle like shapes in order to count as reaching the jack. When scoring this game, if playing competitively, there are four rounds for singles and six rounds for teams. The colored ball closest to the jack uh, receives a point and for every additional colored ball of the same color that is closer to the jack than the first of the opponent's ball gets an extra point. Um, the winner of the game has the most points after all the rounds have been completed. Here you'll see some highlights from the Olympics several years ago of different throwing and rolling methods, as well as some of the athletes that participated.
as you can see, there were a variety of different um, methods used when playing this game. Um, it is a Paralympic sport, which I think is really cool. Um, currently, there are no resources in the state of Massachusetts. The only local league is in Rhode Island. And the equipment is not too expensive as you only need the kit of balls and a tape measure. Um, if there are basketball courts and other courts in the area, you can make boccia courts on them via taping or painting new lines. Um, bocce courts in the area could be used depending on the size and if they're being played on courts or in sand. And here is the Boston Self Help Center information um, as needed. Thank you.